learn Spanish. Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're here at my parents' house. What do you want? And Sophie's being a crazy little woman. She's being a little she wants my hat. She's being a little travel today. She has long travel shirt. Hey, who's your hairstylist, little Sophie? My mom did her hair, and she looks super cute. She's cute. I came to drop off some lunch for her because we have to go and do something with my dad. Thank you. Guys, I forgave my dad. He was just having a little down moment. Me hizo enojar y ya me perdonó. Ya lo perdoné. Ya. Ya lo vuelvo a decir así. It was my mom's fault. What do you say, tú? Ida, 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 ¿ves? It's my mom's fault, guys. He's just not at home. Pero tú estás ya, tú ya estás um, um, acostumbrada a que te hable así, ¿verdad? Pues sí, porque le parto la madre también. No me dejo. And my dad is actually really mad today. Let's yeah. see what he said. Did he go on? No, that night he said that. Ah, if you want to die, Antonio, he said. Yeah, he said that. No, he said that. 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 I love you. I just saw a new like camera mount thing and I put it on my dad's truck and I'm just like hoping that it doesn't fall off even though it's a little bit shaky. I bought like a little camera mount for the car and this whole freaking time I have a different one and they've never worked for me and you're supposed to put them on the actual window. I was about to call me up and there again for scratching his truck. Um, guys, um, so we have a little dilemma today, okay? I'm getting ready in my dad's car because we're on our way to the dealership because my dad's new truck is broken. <laughs> I'm kidding. The new truck is not broken, but we have a little problem. So basically, my dad's brand new truck, he's barely had it for, I swear to God, you guys, for like a week. Remember, like if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had posted that he had got a new truck. I'm doing really quick makeup, so I'm actually not gonna be doing any foundation. I was about to put on foundation, but I think I'm just gonna be doing concealer, some blush, some bronzer, just something really, really quick. But basically, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had posted that my dad got a brand new truck. Nowhere it has like a bunch of water spots on the hood. Is it hood? On the style of water spots? Mm -hmm. So it has a bunch of water spots on the hood. It's literally a brand new car, you guys. Like, brand freaking new, zero miles. Like, and it's like have we're not having big issues with it but we have those water spots and my dad is really really upset so basically yesterday basically yesterday we went to walmart and we went to um where did we go? AutoZone? we went to, or, to AutoZone and we got a couple things to see if it might like if they might come off and we took it to the car wash already it's like the water spots are not coming off it did rain so i don't know if it's because of the rain that the water spots are there but, and also it's a black car and black cars are definitely like more delicate but Daniel has a black car too and he's never had water spots on his car. Not big. No, never. Anyway, so my dad told me to call the dealership to see if they could help us out. <laughs> and um, they don't really want to help out but we're gonna go and see if they can help out if we go in person. The guy, like I had spoke to one of the sales managers. That's what he told you earlier. Yeah, and he was hella rude, but I spoke to one of the managers there, and he was literally just straight up, like, honestly, I feel like we kind of messed up by getting the truck at this specific dealership, because from the beginning, I feel like they were kind of being rude, like, our, the girl that was helping us, like, the sales girl, she wasn't rude, but, like, I feel like they kind of just, like, looked at us, like, y'all don't got no money, like, what are you guys trying to do getting this truck? So we went, and we, like, test drove it and stuff, but, like, the guy was just kind of telling my dad, like, you're trying to go really, really high, and you need to get like this kind of car like basically telling my telling us like we can't I don't know if he thought we couldn't afford the truck or what but anyways we were literally there all day when we went to get the truck I, I'm telling you guys we were there literally all freaking day long we were starving we had a headache like when we left that night I remember going to sleep and I was like oh my god I have the biggest freaking headache of my life I ended up making a deal and my dad got the truck so that's all that matters but he has these water spots and the dealership is literally just like, well, I don't know what to tell y'all. You guys are effed. But I feel like it was just kind of like, I feel like it was kind of messed up like the way they were going about things because we called them like on a good, like, you know, I was giving them a good attitude and being nice to them. 
but they were all just kind of they transferred me to like a bunch of different places and then finally I got to speak to like an actual manager and the manager was just like I told him what was going on and he was saying that he don't want to do it he could do it but he don't want to and basically say like the only way um like nothing basically nothing's free that if you want it if you want like to, if you want to try to get detailed that you have to bring a referral so and then they have that referral needs to actually come go in yeah like he was literally like, telling me if if you guys want us to help you out at all you need to send me someone and they need to buy a car and i'm like yeah. what I, at that point, I was kind of like, I told them, I was like, well, how am I going to refer anyone to you when you don't even want to help us, like, at all? And we don't want the car detailed at all, but we don't, we're not telling them, hey, you guys need to detail the car, but we're not car experts. Like, you guys probably have, like, like, like car experts that work there at the dealership. Honestly, like this, my dad just bought my dad just bought a brand new truck from you guys. Spent a lot of his hard earned money. Y'all can't like at least take a look at the truck. And then if you really can't and you tell us like I'm so sorry, it's out of my control. I we came like back like a month later, two months later with water spot. But, but it's, it's literally been one, one week, huh? And a lot of other dealerships, they would like if it's been like not less than like two weeks, they would like just fix the issue right away but this this dealership any sucks. every other dealership that we've ever like like gone to they're super super nice like honda would never huh honda would never we've had a really all really the, good experience with honda, honda dealerships all the honda dealerships i've been to it's always been good but te acuerdas, mi mamá dijo que fuiste a Tundra y que ahí te dijeron que te, que te daban como a year de paint y que no se queda mm -hmm. entonces por qué no por qué te fuiste con ellos y ni te, ni te dieron nada porque me gustó más esta truca Anyways, you guys, it ended off like the call, like the guy was hella rude, but I was just trying to keep, still keep being nice, but I told him like too, like, well, you know, I feel like you're not really being helpful at all, like, I feel like you don't want to help us, like, it's literally been one week since we got the truck, like, I feel like you should be trying to help us out more, like, I'm not saying you need to do like a full detail, and he's just like, well, what do you want me to do? And I'm just like, well, I would at least appreciate it if you could like at least look at the truck. Like maybe it's something so small that doesn't even because it, it is something kind of really small You actually have to look at the truck to like be able to see them But since it's something so freaking small like at least it, I, I feel like at least like you should tell us like hey like oh yeah bring it in Like let's we'll take a look at it. So what are you gonna say when he looks at the truck and he says yeah I can't wait to do it. I'm gonna be like well, I don't know I guess so I guess we're just gonna go see at the end he told us like oh well I guess bring it in. Si les hubieras dicho antes de comprar la troca, okay, denme, denme, denme un, two free detailings, three free detail, five free detailings, y la compro. Okay, yeah, we'll give you ten. They probably would have totally been like, yep, we'll give you ten. But my poor dad's so bummed out about his little water spots. So I'm just like, why can't y'all at least take a look at it? Like, it's literally been one week. If, like, I told the guy to, like, if we bought the truck a year ago or even like a month ago and I'm coming and I'm calling you like hey the truck has some water spots I would understand for you to be like hey like well you guys already you guys have had it for a while literally we've had the truck for one week but I think I think it's all about like uh, like I think it's all about the way you go about things too and like the attitude and stuff because dude the attitude they were giving us babe it was rude huh yeah dude I, I fuck, fuck that dealership the worst basically we went to the dealership they couldn't do nothing he was nice when we got here though but basically he told us that he could send oh, us to his detailing department oh this this oh yeah 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 they have like special no drive mira no pero no es agua pero tampoco es agua regular ajá oh porque se le queda el agua ahí mira oh sí well that car is so nice Basically, I mean, they were nice about it. They even filled my dad's tank, but, but it was funny. But, but, it was, but, but it was funny because he was like, if it had like like paint damage, I would have totally done it. I'm like, no, you wouldn't have, you freaking little liar, because that would have actually cost a pretty penny. And he said that he wouldn't even get it detailed. But I mean, it's fine, whatever. Um, he did tell us like um, somewhere that we could try and take it to. So we're gonna try and see if they can take care of that for my dad over there. Um, and he said it's only like 60 bucks, so we'll see because my dad's really sad. Yo, it should be right here. <laughs> and there was this girl in the in the dealership and she was like staring at me and I was like, I was like, is she staring? Because you you know, sometimes like I'll even stare at people like, like I'll see like a really pretty girl and I'm like, oh my God, that girl's so pretty. So I'll be staring, but I feel like she was staring at me weirdly and I was like, 
I kind of just like looked around like just to see if she was really staring at me and she like was still staring you know when like someone's staring at you or you're staring at someone and then they look at you or you look at them and then they look away no well no I like looked at her and she was still staring at me so I was like mm. I didn't say anything I was just like whatever but then she was like I like your nails I was like thank you she's like kinda <laughs> I was like you what <laughs> I was like was that supposed to be a compliment or like nah I'm confused right now <laughs> guys do you know <laughs> asked my dad if he wants to go to Bikini Beans and my dad's like, no, a mí me matan. No te dejan ir a bikini beans. No quieres ir a. Pero mira, no me has tocado nada, no me has. No me gusta el café. ¿Qué? What? From the side. From the side. If you know, you know. Guys, we're about to get some food at Shake Shack. ¿Dónde van? No. Entre los tres. No, no, no. Mira, está fácil. Yo no voy a jugar. Yo, yo voy a pagar la mitad del que le toque perder. No, no. El que el que pierde tiene que pagar todo. Es que no me ando a pulse. Guys, we're playing paper rock scissors. Whoever loses has to pay. Ready? Go fast. Ready? Ready? Me you first. Me you first, and then the loser goes against him. Okay, paper rock scissors shoot. Paper rock scissors shoot. That's it. Okay, now we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. So I go with him. But he still if he if he if he wins, I have to play him. Oh, pero cómo es primero? El papel mata el pierda, pierda mata el scissors. Pepe, si se sube. I beat you. Wait, so what so you have ya to perdí, pay? Ya, ya. ¿Ya perdí? O sea, vamos. Damn it. I have to pay. <laughs> I was going to pay anyways. <laughs> I should have just said what my dad said. It's $57. It's not working. How do you feel paying with this to go? Just kidding. <laughs> when we were playing, I was like, I was gonna, I almost picked paper, but then I was like, no, she's probably gonna pick the scissor, and I was like, I'll pick, and then I picked the rock, and I thought I got you. My dad said he knew. Yo sabía que iba a poner la piedra. I got what? It took a big fail. It was $60? It was $60. Pero dile que ofrecí yo pegar la mitad con el que perdiera y no quisieron. My dad offered to pay half, but I was like, no, all or nothing. Good thing I didn't lose. Good thing I didn't lose. I thought it was going to be like $20, fuck, $60. Oh yeah, come on, because she said $57, $20 something. It's a little pricey here. Yum! I love Shake Shack. Yeah. I got a burger and a hot dog as well. Yum! I just want a taste test with the burger. Taste test? Is it good? Yeah, My dad's getting some ketchup. Taste test. I'm just so I'm just bait. I'm just so salty because they don't have Yum. soda, bro. You know it's mad because they don't have soda. Mm. Mm. He's being a Karen. I do not have soda. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Limpia, limpia, <laughs> limpia tu casita, si. Been exploding kittens and it's super late. You guys need to try out this game because y'all will be fighting each other. Hey guys, my mom's a typical Mexican okay. mom. Que no pe, que no so I'm gonna shuffle it. Aire. I'm gonna shuffle it. Guys, aquí no, no tiene problema. She's a fucking liar. What I'm gonna do, amigo? Ya me doy de esta. Apa tienes calor? Está 70, está 75 arriba, pero arriba está con hielo. Vayan para arriba a ver. She's fucking lying. She says she's mad because he went to bikini beans. No, no me gusta el café a mí. Y le gusta el café, escucha. Ah, ahora le ayuda. Me llama la ayuda. Yo no me acerco a la teta. No, o sea, otra vez empiezas otra vez. No, only one time. Pero ya no quiere. Vete con tu papá, mi amor. Vete con tu papá. No, 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 no it's been a couple days since I picked up the camera. To be honest, this week went by really, really fast. And it was kind of like a weird week. Like, I feel like I was not really feeling it this week. Um, I heard, like I, I always know whenever I'm not like having a good week because I literally look like shit all week. Um, but I just feel like I wasn't, like I was really annoyed this week because I was really annoyed this week because I feel like I was going so hard on my videos. Like I was really trying and I was actually uploading pretty consistent. And then my hard drive broke. <laughs> so my hard drive actually broke and um, that really was really annoying because I had like two really, really, really good vlogs going up for you guys very soon. Um, I had two really, really good vlogs that I was planning to upload, but um, I'm still fingers crossed that I can hopefully upload those. But yeah, I feel like that's why I had like kind of a bad week. I was really upset because I feel like I was trying really hard like on like my videos again and then like my hard drive broke <laughs> so it's like the universe is against me 
But I wanted to pick up the camera and vlog for you guys tonight because I actually made some shrimp tacos for the whole family. Um, I've been craving shrimp tacos literally all week. Finally tonight I made them and I invited my parents over because my mom's always cooking for us. So I wanted to cook something for them as well. Let me show you guys the little setup that I have for when my parents show up. I made homemade guac, homemade salsa, and homemade pico de gallo. I've been craving pico de gallo, like a good pico de gallo. I'm not getting older because before I would don't ever i would never eat pico de gallo but i feel like i realized that i do like tomatoes but they have I, I think what i don't like about the tomatoes is like the inside gummy part so i just like take out all the like nasty like gooey parts of it and i just use like the tomato so i made some pico de gallo some homemade guac we have some lime some cheese some homemade green salsa and it is pretty spicy so i know my dad's gonna love it and then some sour cream and here we have our shrimpies and they taste so freaking good i'm gonna start to fry up some tortillas for when everybody gets here and then we're gonna eat some bomb tacos guys these tacos were literally chef's kiss they were the best the best the best 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 mm. so freaking good and I literally made them in the air fryer in like 10 minutes. Bomb. Taco stuff? Get us out of 10. Un día. Y diles que no estás diciendo solamente eso solamente porque soy mío. No, no, no lo digo solamente porque ella lo hizo. Lo digo porque sí me gustan realmente. Lo logramos. Logramos que mi hijo se comiera dos quesadillas de cheese. Ah, pues no, que de qué chingada.